What's the fastest way to cool down? Go up. For every 1,000 feet you go up, the temperature drops an average of 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Meteorologists call this environmental lapse rate. 3.5 degrees might not seem like a lot, but when you compare the climate range for growing different grape varieties, it ends up being a big deal. It's the reason this wine exists. Do you know what this wine is? In this glass is a wine from somewhere in the world. Let's see if we can figure out what it is, where it's from, with observation. And the first thing to do is we'll take a look at it. This wine is sparkling and it's a pale gold color. That's a big clue. Most sparkling wines use just three grape varieties, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and a mutation of Pinot Noir called Pinot Meunier. Okay, let's give it a sniff. I get lemon cake, green apple, lime, a touch of sourdough bread, and a whiff of ginger. Let's check the sweetness level. Acidity is high and it's dry. This is called brut in sparkling wines. It doesn't have a nutty or any brioche-like flavors, which suggests that it didn't spend a long time aging on the lees in a process called elevage in sparkling wines. It also doesn't have any red fruit flavors, no white cherry, no strawberry or peach aromas, which means it's probably not made with black grapes. Okay, so you have some pretty big clues going on here. What kind of sparkling wine do you think this is? Is it a Blanc de Noirs, a sparkling wine made with only black grapes? a Blanc de Blancs, a sparkling wine made with only green grapes, or a blend of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier. Got your guesses? It's time for some answers. Hi again, everyone. Since this wine doesn't have any red fruit flavors, we can scratch Blanc de Noir off the list. And since it's so lean and linear, it's probably not a blend either. This is a Blanc de Blanc, a sparkling wine made with green grapes, and in this case, Chardonnay. But there's more going on here that's worth exploring. Sparkling wines undergo a secondary fermentation to create their bubbles. There are two popular methods for making sparkling wine. The tank method, aka the Charmat method, which is popular in Prosecco. And then there's the traditional method, which is used in champagne. The main difference between the two is how much contact there is with dead yeast cells, aka lees. With the tank method, the secondary fermentation, which creates those bubbles, happens in a large pressurized tank. This creates fruit forward sparkling wines that give a pure expression of the grape variety because there's very little contact with the lees. The traditional method has the secondary fermentation in a bottle, a thick glass bottle that gives more contact between dead yeast cells and the wine, leading to wines that have flavors of brioche, toast, and marzipan. So our wine today is fruity, lean, and linear, and that means the winemaker used the Charmat method. Now, for Chardonnay sparkling wines, you really have to have high acidity and you get these lean green apple aromas and lime notes we're going to have to look for a cooler climate to get those kind of flavors. Regions like Champagne and Germany are cool because of their latitude from the equator. Coastal California is cool because of the cooling influence of the Pacific Ocean. But what's fascinating is if we ascend an elevation, like say in the Andes of Argentina, where vineyards sit at like 3,200 feet, we can get the benefits of the environmental lapse rate. That can change the environment from really quite warm to actually quite cool the further up we go. And that's exactly what is going on with the wine here today. Madeline, please tell us what we are tasting. Today we're tasting Alta Vista Blanc de Blancs from the Uco Valley in Mendoza, Argentina. Let's hear from the winemaker. Hello, wine folly members. I'm Adrian, a winemaker at Bodegas Alta Vista. Alta Vista is a winery located in Argentina, in the province of Mendoza. We have many years of tradition and history, and we are uh, known by being the tour explorers. 
And now I'm presenting this wine. It's a sparkling wine made from Chardonnay grapes. It's a Blanc de Blanc Brut. Okay, we grow the Chardonnay in the foothill of the Andes Mountains range, the one that is just behind me. And this, this place in high altitude vineyards where we find a cold climate during the season of maturity that allows us to preserve the freshness, the fruitiness and the acidity of the grapes. So in the wine you will find a characteristic of very, very expressive, very full. And in the mouthful you will find a very good balance between the sweetness, natural sweetness and the acidity of the wine. So I hope you enjoy it and cheers. So there you have it, you're one glass deeper into the fascinating world of wine. This wine is part of Wine Folly Club. And if you'd like to taste along, you can become a member. And we have more videos like these coming up, so stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about wine. Until next time, happy tasting, salute.